fifth stage of the Tian Yoda Cup Tour of Qinghai Lake started off with rain and just got worse. As the wind picked up, these guys were calling on weather gods to bring back the sunshine from yesterday, but unfortunately it didn't come around. Everybody is signing in hesitantly as the air is 9 degrees and it's not getting any warmer with the rain. Let's hear it. Here with green jersey winner for the second day in a row, Luis Masbonet from Burgos BH. We're going to get his opinions on the stage. Luis, what are you thinking about today? 203 kilometers, not many climbs. No, today I think it's a easy stage, but it's a longer stage. I think today all the more difficult is the weather. Uh, today is a little bit raining and a little bit cold, and it's possible when in the finish the race the people. Um, go back to the race or finish your uh, yourself fifty six kilometers followed by our second sprint at 89 kilometers. The third sprint was at 114, and then today's climb was a small one, third category, going up to 3,396 meters, and then a downhill into the town of Shihai Zun for a total of 203 kilometers. You know it's really cold when people are wearing shower caps on their helmets and shaking at the start. I was one of them. The gun went off and everybody crawled away from the line, groaning. The wind was atrocious. It was literally 40 kilometers an hour into their faces. What you can't see here was four people that were playing the Chinese lottery ticket, which was the name of the stage. They headed off. What we had was four breakaway riders got away within the first kilometer. And sprint number one was taken by Alexander Palavoda. Tilijan Madios was second and Flores Hosenen was third. The break continued on and continued to gain extreme amounts of time, getting up to a lead of 14 minutes, leading into sprint number two. And once again, that came down to Alexander Polovoda first, Tilijan Madios second, and Flores Hosenen third. The peloton in the first 84 kilometers had done it in a time of two and a half hours, so they were fighting the headwind just as well, but were nowhere near as determined as these guys. That was sprint number three that you just saw, and once again, guess what? Alexander Polovodok took first, and Tilligan Matios took second. Third went once again to Flores Hosenen. After sprint number three, times were slowly and steadily coming down, down to about three minutes. But, at kilometer 100, both Hosenen and Polavita dropped their partner over the top of the 3,396 meter third category climb. The King of the Mountain points were taken by Flores Hosenen, and in second place going to Alexander Polavoda. Yesterday's animator, Liu Biao, was third. Going into Xinghai Zhen, the breakaway still had 1 minute 30 seconds with 2 kilometers to go. Passing under the red flag, they had less than a minute, and here came the peloton charging right into it. The peloton was 50 seconds behind as they turned onto the tree-lined boulevards of the wonderful town that is packed with spectators. We have seen such enthusiastic spectators at every single stage, but they took off with 250 meters. Flores was leading it out. We've got Alexander right behind him. Things are coming down to the wire. It looks as if it's going to be Flores, but Alexander comes in bike throw and he gets it by a tire. After 201 kilometers alone, they ended up getting the win by a tire. So first place was Alexander Polivoda, second Flores Hosenen, third was once again Sacha Madolo. We're here with the stage winner today, Alessandro Polivoda, and we're going to hear his effect. What did you think of the race today? A uh, very difficult race, but uh, it's uh, water and uh, very cold. I'm a uh, very hard uh, day with me and a very happy day. Yeah. Thank you with uh, this race, but uh, very nice race in uh, China. Uh, I like uh, China, but I remember it's uh, Hainan and uh, Taihu. This is a uh, very nice race in China. Thank you. 
Our podium girls are ready to present the champagne and flowers to our stage winner, Alessandra Palavoda. Excellent race. Second place was Florian Hosanen, and third, Satya Madolo. The best Asian rider is once again Samad Pusadie. Samad Pusadie is also the king of the mountain. He's having a great tour so far. Still three stages of serious mountain climbing to go. And now the new green jersey is Sasha Madolo, who's had also a very consistent sprinting. And now in GC, the yellow jersey is again for the third day now. Sabad Pusayadi is still in yellow. Mir Kolodos is in second, and David De La Fuente still holds on to third place. GC is unchanged. Tune in tomorrow for stage six from Shihai Zen to Chilien. For Cycling CN, I'm Sean Nagel. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.